Hi, it's Lou Brown. One of the questions I get asked by real estate agents is that they are concerned about being sued. They're concerned about all the different contracts that they entered in, into throughout the week, throughout the month, throughout the year, many different transactions that can come back to haunt you, right? And when they sue, they don't just sue one person, they sue everybody that might be involved in the chain. And they know that some people will just pay to get out of the lawsuit and other people will defend the lawsuit, but it could be very expensive. So we make decisions to buy things like errors and emissions insurance, and certainly insurance has its place. And we know that many times insurance does not cover. And they, one thing we know about insurance is they try to figure out a way not to pay, right? So the smart person actually sets themselves up the right way in the first place so that they can't lose what they've got if there were to be a lawsuit and if there were to be a judgment. Now we say, well, we do good things and we do good business and therefore there should not be a judgment ever to come down the pike. Well, smart people uh, with a little bit of gray hair, they understand the truth behind that. That the system is totally flawed. And that means that it depends on the judge's mindset on any given day. It depends on the quality of your attorney. It depends on the quality of the other side's attorney. It depends on how the weather is that day. There's so many things that impact a decision and an ongoing decision in a lawsuit process. And we know that about 50% of the cases that we thought we would have won, uh, this is what attorneys have told me they lost and 50% of the cases they thought they should have lost, they won. So when you go in with that mindset, knowing that we just have no idea how a, uh, how a lawsuit will actually turn out, when you go in with that mindset, then you say, well, what can I do to protect myself? And the answer is to do something now that can protect you forever. What's the now thing? It's this thing called trusts. Uh, now I'm a big believer in trusts and certainly you've heard about LLCs, corporations, limited partnerships, and they can have their own position. But one of the problems with those entities is you're putting all your eggs in one basket. If that basket owns other things and if that basket were to get sued, potentially everything in that basket could get lost. One of the things I love is a thing called land trusts because you put each piece of real estate in its own trust and then personal property trusts. You put each piece of personal property in its own trust. So for example, stocks, bonds, mutual funds, bank accounts, CDs, c dues mobile homes, motor homes, gun collections, coin collections, each asset can be in its own trust. And that is a very cool thing to do because what did you just do? You divide and conquer. Anybody that wants to sue, they have to sue that individual trust. That individual trust would have had to done something wrong that can be an action that could be claimable in court. So the cool thing is you've separated everything from one another. Now, as a real estate agent, you personally can get sued. But what's interesting is let's say you get sued and they were, God forbid, able to get a judgment against you. Well, here's what's so you don't own anything. If you followed what I've been teaching you, you don't own anything, not your bank account, not stocks, bonds, mutual funds, not vehicles, nothing is owned by you. So if they get a judgment against you, they don't have much. And there's a number of distinctions in that. I would love to share something with you. And that is, this is my uh, chapter on trusts that gives you some information. It's about a 47 page, a little download book that gives you some more information about this wonderful thing called trusts. And I can definitely help you with the, the tools, the training, the technology, the information. If you wanted to do trust yourself, for example, we've got paperwork that you could complete and then you could take it to a local attorney and have them 
uh, sign off, review it and sign off for it uh, on it for you. And then you can use that from now on with uh, any type of assets that you acquire going forward. So that's certainly a benefit for you. But first take a look at the book. It's maximum asset shield.com forward slash book. Just download the book for free. There's no charge for that. And it gives you some more insight into this wonderful thing called trust. And that's what I suggest for a real estate agent, a real estate broker, a mortgage broker, really any professional that's out there in the world that could get sued personally. It makes a whole lot of sense not to own assets in your own name. I'm Lou Brown. Hope to see you soon. Yeah, baby.